but it can also become more actualized in the midst of everyday life through the practice of relaxing and giving away all opinions, all mind stuff for two to five seconds, just for two to five seconds, again and again and again and again and again. Now the more relentless you are about relaxing, as ironic as that may sound, the more you prioritize these two to five seconds again and again and again, the more quickly or accelerated this experience of presence or beingness or ever-present awareness will become predominant in your experience as the background of all things, in a sense. It's not actually a background, it's more an essence because it is also the foreground. But it can be sensed sometimes as a background, as a stable, changeless screen onto which the movie of life's perceptions are played out. Come and go, come and go, come and go. And yet you, the witness, never leaves. You see your hands moving, you see your emotions coming and going, you see yourself believing in your thoughts and your stories, and then your stories disappearing. You see even yourself practicing the two to five seconds of relaxation. That awareness is already aware. You are already seeing or witnessing your present experience, no matter what you try to do about it. Already here you are. Already present you are. So you see this is completely trustworthy. The space of consciousness is completely trustworthy. Now the more you trust it, the more it will give back. It's not that it wants something in return. It's simply that we cannot receive the benefits that are endless and countless, that are present within that which is always already conscious and present. It's simply that these qualities cannot really emanate into your conscious experience. They are already your experience, but the way they become part of your conscious experience is if you relax your conscious mind, if you open your consciousness up to more of its nature, to more of itself. This is when that true relaxation kicks in, when we truly start to become unworried. Worries simply don't have any ground left to stand on because it will be so obvious to you that, that the sublimeness of what is present, the preciousness and the indestructibility of what is ever present is in fact always already okay. The more we recognize this ever present okayness, this underlying or permeating field of present awareness, of clear, alive existence or love. The more we make a little space in our minds to recognize this basic space of consciousness, the more it becomes who we are, the more it becomes how we experience ourselves. And the more we relax our concerns, our worries, our fears, because now we have something to let go in.